Jobs in Pods. Welcome to Jobs in Pods, the only podcast where you can hear real employers talk about their jobs and tell you what it's like to work there. I'm your host, Chris Russell. In today's Jobcast, we'll take a look inside GE's Early Identification Program. The EID program is designed to identify high-potential engineering students early in their academic career as possible candidates for one of GE's technical entry programs. The EID program offers students the opportunity to experience a real-life work environment at GE while developing the professionalism critical to a successful career. Joining me now is Kate Jacobson, EID program manager, who will give us her insights on the program. Kate, welcome to Jobs and Pods. Thank you, Chris. Thanks for, uh, thanks for coming on. So tell us how you came to work at GE. What's your story? Okay. Well, I grew up locally to uh, one of our plants here in Schenectady, and I always heard about all the great things going on here. Mm-hmm. I've been here now for about three years, and you know the choice for me was, was pretty simple. At uh, GE, we have unparalleled foundation to build a career on, and you're surrounded by the best and the brightest in your field, and you're part of a global business, which for me was really important. I want that international exposure. Um, and then working at GE, you really can feel good about the company and the, the business you're part of. Um, it's as important here how you do things as what you do. Mm-hmm. And we, some businesses prize results over ethics, but here we value both. And, and finding a company that I could feel really good about was my main goal. So you're part of the EID program, which I mentioned is a uh, you know, designed to identify high potential engineering students. Can you describe a typical day as an EID? Maybe talk about some of the projects uh, they'd be working on? Sure. Um, you know, it's really hard to say what a typical day looks like in EID just because our program covers all four GE businesses. Okay. Um, my experience is with the energy business, so I'm going to talk probably mostly about that, but students quite often have a preconceived notion that they're going to be searching coffee or making coffees, <laughs> but you're not going to have that experience here. And, right. and in fact, if you do, I'd be pretty upset. Yeah. Uh, but you know, as part of a large program, as I said, there, there really isn't a typical. And what you're going to do day day to day is going to evolve over time. But you know, for some examples, one of our interns this summer here, Rajesh, he said that much of his time at first was simply spent gaining an understanding of the expectations and objectives of the business leaders. But towards the end, he placed more emphasis on documenting the work that he had done and communicating the findings. Uh, now, he was slightly more technical, so if you go maybe more the manufacturing route like Ryan, you'll be more focused on managing shop orders and hourly workforce, mm-hmm. interacting with supply chain leaders, and, and performing different statistical analysis to improve quality. But as I said, you know, it's important to note that the responsibilities our students are getting are equivalent to what the full-time employees get. And, um, you know, it's an experience you just can't receive from simply staying in a classroom. There you go. Sounds good. So what kind of training do you receive as part of this program? Well, training is often specific to the area you're going to work in. Okay. So, you know, for example, at aviation, all the new interns and co-ops go through jet engine basics during their first rotation. But that's not necessarily going to translate to, say, our finance students at money. So we do make sure that you're receiving role-specific training that you need to get up to speed quickly. But we also give you the basics, your presentation skills, uh, networking skills, and um, interviewing training. Okay. Uh, what are some of the benefits offered to people in the EID program? Well, simply put, the opportunity to work with full-time employees in your field of choice, you know, top-notch engineers and business professionals, really can't be underestimated. So not only are you learning from the best and the brightest, but you, know, you start to build your network early. You know, the learning doesn't stop. So right. we offer both structured trainings, and really what we call lunch and learns, where you're going to hear from top business leaders on what's new and exciting in their areas, and really the only difference is there's no formal tests at the end. (laughs) And we also have intern and co-op committees where you can really help shape the program. We encourage students to organize professional development, community service, and social activities for the EIDs. Um, Some of our best events have actually been those set up by former EIDs and I really can't wait to see what they'll come up with in the future. How does EID challenge an intern or someone in the co-op? Can you sort of describe the challenges of of working this kind of program? Sure. I think a lot of it comes down to the responsibility that we give our students. So it's not simply busy work to to occupy your time. We give our students the opportunity to solve real challenges. So some of the things they worked on this year, you know, providing clean drinking water, minimizing oil flow disruption in pipelines around the world, and 
reducing greenhouse gas emissions in our locomotives. So they're working on projects that really matter. And these are big projects with major deliverables that are going to have an impact on GE's bottom line. Uh, Kate, in a few words, how would you describe the culture at GE? Um, I only need one, okay. inclusive. inclusive. Okay. <laughs> um, I've asked a lot of the students about this, too, when they leave in their exit in surveys, and they say it all comes down to the way their managers interact and, and keep them involved in things. So we pick our assignment leaders that energize their teams, you know, they, who pr- promote environments that celebrate and recognize differences. You know, one of our students, Abby here, her assignment leader exposed her to different groups and included her on all her meetings. And the overall experience just provides her with a lot of variety in her work and face time with people all over the business. I still find here that the employees are very supportive of, of the learning experience that comes with the internship and co-op program. And those are who are inclusive and nurturing, those are the managers that I'm going to make sure I get the good students. So it really sounds like the EID program is really there to really um, advance your career uh, at GE. What types of options are available uh, to program members after you graduate? Well, GE has several top-ranked leadership programs available. You know, what I tell my interns is, if you have a passion, we have a leadership program that's going to match it. <laughs> um, so whether you're interested in design, manufacturing, sales, finance, you'll have the opportunity while here to learn about these leadership programs that will help excel you in your field of choice. And just wrapping up here, Kate, uh, how do you apply? Who's eligible? And when do the interviews occur? Okay, so students who are interested in joining us should first start with our career center at their school um, and apply for an on-campus interview. Mm -hmm. But if you see that GE is not going to be at your school, you can always visit us at gecareers.com slash campus interview and apply directly to our site. Now, eligible. We do have minimum eligibility requirements. You have to have at least a 3.0 GPA. Mm -hmm a relevant major, so for my program, mechanical, electrical, industrial, but of course, it differs based on each business and unrestricted U.S. work authorization. But, you know, they have to keep in mind we're we're not looking for the minimum. You know, we're looking for those who best fit into our culture. So people who are imaginative, curious, clear thinkers, as we say, with um, a passionate excel. Interviews are actually right around the corner. We we stop in at our school campuses both in October and February, and we're looking for anywhere from summer interns to spring co-ops and fall co-ops. Okay. Well, that will do for this edition of Jobs and Pods. Kate Jacobson from GE, thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks, Chris. This has been a lot of fun. To hear more GE Jobcast, just click the GE Jobs link on our site for more. You can also learn more at ge.com slash careers. Listeners can also subscribe to our Jobcast on iTunes. Just do a keyword search for Jobs and Pods. Thanks for listening.